Well, welcome everybody to the very first She Speaks series. And I have with me today the amazing Rosalind Gis Porter, who we featured in our recent post a couple weeks ago about the She Speaks Spotlight. And I have Rosalind on to tell her story and talk about her passion, her vision, her purpose, and, and her why. So uh, for those of you who don't know, Rosalind is the founder and owner of Better Speaking Skills, and she started that business in 2013. She helps with communication training for executive women and wants to help them uh, shine in their business presentations. So Rosalind, welcome. Happy to be here. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Uh, so I would love for you to tell your story and talk about uh, why you do what you do. Well, thank you, Catherine. Have you ever been stuck at the intersection of crisis and change? If you have, you're not alone. I've been at that crossroads two times in my career. Today, we're facing a worldwide health crisis, and at the same time, protesters are in the street demanding social justice and change. You hear a few voices, leaders stepping up to speak with clarity, vision, and compassion. Do you know what the U.S. Speaker of the House, the Governor of Michigan, and the Mayor of Atlanta all have in common. They are women who are raising their voice and leading solving problems and healing wounds. As a speaker and public speaking coach, I believe that women are uniquely qualified to lead, especially during periods of crisis and change. How do I know this? I have struggled at the intersection of crisis and change. Over the past 18 years, there have been two instances where I have been at that intersection. And both times I've learned valuable lessons that I share with my clients as I inspire, empower, and educate women who want to speak with a stronger voice and have more powerful presentation skills. I cried when the judge's gavel hit the table, ending my 18 year plus marriage. As I wiped the tears from my eyes, I knew in that moment that things would be different. My life was in crisis and I, and I knew that change was coming, but I didn't know how much my life was gonna change. I was in crisis, yes, I immediately had to be a single parent to my 10 year old daughter. I had a demanding corporate job and to be honest, I had let my credit card debt spiral out of control. I felt stressed out. I felt sad. And I kept asking myself, how am I going to handle all this? And then one day I looked in the mirror and said, you have an MBA. You can handle this. You have got to handle this. So I read all the Susie Oman books on personal finance I could get my hands on. I got a financial planner. I refinanced my home. I paid down my credit card debt. And I emerged from that crisis with a lesson. And I learned that even though I face problems that look insurmountable, I have the power to overcome any challenge. So for the past, for the next 10 years, I manage my debt, I manage my job, I manage my daughter. 
until 2012. Have you ever been stuck in a dead end job? Me too. If you had seen me eight years ago, you would have seen a woman who was afraid. She was afraid of losing her job because if I lost my job, how am I gonna pay my bills? My job was stressful. I was tired, overworked, and I knew I was on a short list of people to be laid off, but I just couldn't get another job quick enough. I was sitting, sitting at my desk one day and the phone rang. Looked at the caller ID. It was Christy from HR. I had a dull pain in my stomach. Nothing good ever came out of a call from Christy in HR. I picked up the phone. What? This call was different. Christy offered me an early retirement package. Yeah, I took it <laughs> and plunged head first in another crisis because that retirement package didn't last forever. I was too young for social security. I had to work, but I just didn't know what I wanted to do. I'd always been a writer or an editor. That wasn't my passion. I kept applying for writing jobs that I didn't really want. Until March of 2013, I was sitting on my bed and I got another call. This call was from Stephanie, my friend Stephanie. Hi Ross, how you doing? I haven't seen you since our days in Olive Garden Marketing. Oh, Stephanie, I'm frustrated, I'm tired. I keep applying for writing jobs I don't even want. I feel stuck. I keep doing the same old thing that I've always done. Well, Roz, if you could do anything you wanted to do, what would you do? You know, Stephanie, I'd really like to be a public speaking coach, but I don't know how to get there from where I am now. Well, Roz, I had a friend who wanted to be a speaker coach and she went through a training program. Would you like me to send you the link to that program? Oh God, yes, Stephanie, thank you. Has a phone call ever changed your life? Stephanie's call changed mine. Six months after she sent me the link to that program, I was a certified speaker coach. And I started my own company, Better Speaking Skills. Now I get to empower, inspire, and educate my clients. I've learned audience engagement skills and business storytelling skills, powerful presentation skills that they can use to be powerful communicators as well. Have you ever been a woman in corporate America? It's hard to get your voice heard and your ideas respected. I know that I struggle with having the confidence to speak up in meetings and share my ideas. That's why I don't want my clients, I don't want any woman to have to go through, I, through what I did. I sat on my the ideas for years and decades and didn't speak up. Now I empower inspire and educate my clients. I empower my clients so they can have the presentation skills to speak with power, passion, and persuasion. I inspire them to speak with confidence and clarity. And I educate my clients so they can have the presentations tools to be leaders in their community, in their company, even worldwide. Why do I love being a speaker and a public speaking coach? Because I love inspiring, empowering, and educating the next generation of women to be leaders. I love helping you reach your full potential. 
I'm Rosalind Porter. I love helping you raise your voice and reach your goals. I especially love finding opportunities to help you become the best that you can be and reach your full potential. And I love sharing the lessons I've learned at the intersection of crisis and change. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> Thank you.